Hey everyone, in today's app video, I wanna show you how to use Thumbtack. And it's an app for hiring professionals. I had a leak in my kitchen and I needed to find a plumber and I did the usual Google search, but people were not getting back to me fast enough. So I came across this app, Thumbtack, where you could basically post a listing and then contractors or professionals, plumbers, graphic designers, anything really you could imagine that a professional could take care of, they would then bid for your job or you could just go ahead and search for someone that could handle the job and message them. And it's completely free to use. The way Thumbtack actually makes money is from the professionals and they do a thing called credits where the professional buys a credit pack and then they could apply for those jobs. So as a consumer of the app, it's completely free to you. You just pay whatever the contractor is quoting you or whoever you're hiring is quoting you. So let me show you exactly how to use it. And if it's your first time here, I post really easy to follow app videos every single week on the apps that I think people will find most useful. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Let's jump into the app store. This is available for all iPhones and Android phones. And it's been around since 2008. I actually used it way back in the day as a photographer to get clients. Go ahead and look up Thumbtack and then go ahead and download and open it. And I've already used the app and what it does is right now, if you look on the bottom, I'm on the explore page. The explore page actually changes based on your activity and based on your searches. So yours probably won't look like mine. And I already went through the setup process and made an account. So go ahead and do all those steps. And let me show you the overview of this app. On the bottom, again, the explore page will go ahead and change over time based on what you're looking up. Then you have a projects tab which is gonna show you the projects that you've completed or the projects where you're searching. So right now I just hired a handyman to take care of some plumbing. So that's been completed and it shows on the top. And then you have your inbox. Every message that you have with other professionals will take place over here. I'll show you how to use that in a second. Then you have the U option, which is gonna show you your profile and your accounts. And we don't really have to worry about that here. I already set up my account, but you could go to that account tab if you need to make any changes to your account. So how do you get started with the app to find someone to take care of a job for you? There's two ways. The first one is just on the explore page right on top. It says, what's on your to-do list? You could go ahead and click there. And let's say I wanna take care of some appliance repair. I could type that and search for that. And it is going to sometimes walk you through a questionnaire just to make it a little bit more focused on what it's gonna show you. So I could go through this and answer some questions so I could see a better match. So it just asks for a brand. This is one of my favorite things about the app. A lot of times it shows you the average cost based on your zip code. So right now I could see that it's $59 on average to get a consult on my appliance repair. So I need to fix a stove. It's gonna tell me how much it may cost to do that. And then I could see other professionals here. And then my other favorite part about the app is this rating system. You could see from zero to five, how well someone is doing with the stars here. And you could see if they're online right now, so you can message them right away. It's very, very simple to use. And then you could see the different professionals in your area here just by doing that. So let's say I wanted to hire appliance rescue. I could select them here and you could see it's based on the consulting fee of $89. It's gonna say that right on top. Some professionals require you to contact them before you get a price quote. Then you could read more about them here. He says about the pro, you could read all about them. You could see how many times they've been hired on the app. You could see how many employees and how long they've been in business. You could see the payment methods they use. And then you could compare them to the other pros to see if they're more expensive or less expensive. And on the bottom, you could press check availability here and then go ahead and ask them if they're available on a specific day. Very, very easy to use there. And on the very bottom, you could read all the reviews, very specific reviews by people that use this app to hire that professional and then see if this is someone that you want to work with. So that's one way to do it is you do the searching and then you find people and then check their availability and message them and see if they could take care of the job for you. The other option is you could go to the projects tab and you could create a project. So I could press the plus sign on top. Again, type in what I'm looking for. So again, appliance repair. G is good. I'm gonna go ahead and press X. And then it brings me to the same place where I could see who could take care of that job for me based on my zip code and based on the brand or whatever the questionnaire was that he asked me. So this time I'll jump in here. I'll select that person. 
I'll go ahead and press check availability. Let's go ahead and see if they're available for Saturday here, for example, press next. And then you could give them some time frames on when you're looking to do this. Anytime is fine. I'll take off the morning actually. And then you could tell them what the problem is here. I'll go ahead and do stove and oven, choose the brand. And you could even get more specific. Now I won't go through this right now, but you get the idea. It's just going to ask you very, very simple questions. So that person could actually have more information to give you a very specific bid and let you know if they're available to take care of the job. Now in the projects tab, when a project gets completed, you could jump in here and you could give a review. So I give this person a five star review. I already took care of them with payment in person. I just basically gave a credit card information when they were at my house to take care of the job. So the payment does not take place within the app. You'll just deal with contractors or whoever you hire one on one. You don't have to worry about doing any of that within the app. And as you could see, you could always press message here and then jump into messaging and message someone. That's very, very easy to use. You would just type out your text. It just works like text messaging on your phone. I found it really, really easy to use. And one of my favorite parts was you could actually attach pictures. There's that little icon on the bottom. So I took the issues that I had with my plumbing, took pictures of it, send them the message here, and then everything was taken care of from this app. I never gave them my phone number. I just took care of everything here and provided my address for them to send me a quote and then show up to do the job. Really, really easy to use. You could work with a ton of different contractors. Let me just go to the Explore page just to give you an idea of what's available here. You could see, you could have people take care of your pets, your lawn, your home, plan your wedding, home services, health and fitness, virtual lessons, even starting a business from logo design to accounting. It has just about everything you can imagine where you would hire someone to help you out. So I find this really, really useful. It's been around for 12 years. It's one of the apps that's actually outlasted all the other apps out there to do these kind of things. I'm going to give this app a solid five out of five. It's one of my favorites out there and I'm going to continue to use it, especially for finding contractors and handymen around the house to take care of different things for me. I hope you found it useful. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section. I'd love to get your feedback on it. Please give this a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next app video.